All right, hey guys, uh, Sam here, back with you Tuesday or Wednesday, June twenty seventh, and uh, next up here, uh, per request of our Twitter followers, I've got uh, TRX Tron to Bitcoin, and we're looking at it here on Binance. Now, this is actually this is a pretty tricky one <clears throat> with regards to getting a, an Elliott count on it. So we don't need to dig into any of that. Here's our pivot load back here as we, what are we, 311, right? So as we move higher here, this is the pivot that we're working from. Now, we've got sort of a conflicting count here. It could actually go two ways. So on the three hour here, we're trying to build a case for, for some sort of a diagonal to be in. That's, that's our only alternative here. If indeed we've got a one here, we've already overlapped. So, you know, it's, it, it's, the symmetry is not looking great for that count as a one, two, three, and then some sort of a very long four. So that, that symmetry looks wrong. So what that leaves is the alternate here is that we have a truncated fifth. Now, the reason I'm reluctant here, I would consider these equally valid counts. The reason I'm reluctant to do that, one, the, the truncated fifth is the anomaly. So it, it's less likely, but then again, given the, the relationship here of the length of the three relative to the length of the four and the possibility that there's one more push down here, it's really, boy, I, I would, if I were not in this market, I would be I would not be looking to put on a new trade until I get some more clarity here as to what we've actually gotten. So let me just work you through the the some of the problem spots here. So let me, let me I'll just go down. Let's see maybe I can do it with an hourly. All right. So if I look here now, so this this is where it's, so it's tricky coming off of this low. So the first bit that's difficult where we're again dealing with this challenging symmetry. This I might even, let's let's zoom in a little more here on this this one wave because this is where it got tricky. So if we can see it here, so this looks more like a diagonal given this this reaction here. So, so it would be tempting to go one, two, three, four, five. You've completed the one, but then you, what do you do with this? Yeah. So, to, to, if we allow for this as the one, then we have to call this A, then an expanded B wave, and then we come down here for a truncated C relative to the A. That seems a bit like a bit of a stretch here. So I'm inclined to go this way because I get a, because a coming off of this high. So if I'm, if I'm allowing for this to be a four, so clearly it becomes a diagonal. So we're looking for threes now. So in that diagonal, I'm looking for my, for my third wave to give me an ABC. And I do get that here. So let me, let's put that in. Let's go down a Go down a degree here. Okay, so that that does that does work here. So one, two, A, B, C into my third, very deep four, no question about it here. So, but I can get an A and then a B and then I've got a nice one, two, three coming over here, three A, B, C into my four, come down for the five. So I've got my A, B, C into this as a candidate here for the four and then this this straight rip up. You know, it looks more likely to be a fifth. So if I take take it from my low here in a diagonal, we'd look for that relationship between the start of the count and the third relative to the fifth. We can see here we've done just a bare, barely broken, barely broken twice now. Broke it here, broke it here, but then look at the rip. So the the break of the 65 implies bearishness, but the the rip off of that. So even if you know if we think about what an algo may have done. So if it pulls here from even on the first break. So here was the here was the return to the 50 and then it just rips through. So algos would if they if they were short there which some would have been. If they so the reaction here the slight pause and then the blow through. So they they would be back on the long side. So then looking at that from an Elliott perspective this 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 does that can work. So then we'd get our ABC coming down here for our 2 here, more traditional ABC. This would set us up as a two. So on that assumption that I've completed up here, if we allow for this count, so coming down the start of it to my five, well, I've come now with my little A three wave B, I get this choppy C wave here. We come right between the 50 and the 618, right where you'd ex an anticipate that second. So I'm leaning towards this count here because I just don't love this as, as as an A and then big B taking out that high and coming down for the truncated C. That seems less likely. Neither one of them is ideal. 
but you got to you know, work with what the market gives you. So coming off of that, you got you got to pick a count. So I would defer to this as my primary. Coming off of this low, I do get a one, two. Here's my little two. This qualifies, it's longer than the one. So I, we just, just as you should always check these. So from the start of my one to this proposed two, we come right where we'd anticipate it here. That's highest probability zone for a third, right in the pocket there. Come down for a, a little skinny four, but I've got an ABC into that four, and then I rip up for my five, I get the third algo target relative to this. So I think that's more likely the, the third there. So because I've got that good subdivision here, and I think I even had a little bit of a pull here from from my two to my three. Yeah, we got it to the tick here. So there's, so here's the four, here's front, the slight front run on the 50, first target, stutter, second target, reaction, they get the third. So that would imply that that's more likely a third given that as we know. So from my one, two, up for my three, I've got all the subdivision I wanna see there. Now I come down, now here's again where it gets a little tricky. So I, I, I've got a reasonable count here that all fits. I've, had, I've got my leading diagonal in the one, Two, I've got all the subdivision I need to give me an impulse for the three. I come down for an A, I've got some complexity here as I get a, an A, B, and then a one, two, three, four, slight overlap, so I get a diagonal in my C wave here. So this from this B, yeah, it's, it's, it's not perfect, but so you, either we get it this way. So we're either, yeah, you can't, it's got to be here. So, so looking here, so I can get my A wave down. So it's got to be one, two, and then what, man, this is my problem spot here. You get a slight overlap here. So you'd have to, you'd have to count it this way. You'd have to go from the B, we'd have to go A, B into that C to give me the, the diagonal because of the overlap. You see what I've done here? So this, if, if this is my B here, and then this is my one, I've got an overlap here. Right, so I can't tr I can't count it as one, two, three, four. The overlap means I've got a diagonal, so I'm looking for an A, B, C. So I can get an A, A, B, C into the B, and then an A, B, C into that. So actually, this would have to come. Let's change that color. Let's go green, and we'll go up a degree, so that it it fits, and we don't get lost in the count. So we'd have to have A. B. Now take note here. We know a B can go as high as the seven, eight. Come here. from my pivot to my low here. Now, we get just a couple of ticks through the 786, but look what we've done down here. We've come all the way to target. So I'm inclined to stay with that as an AB diagonal in my C to give me that B. So I guess actually that has to go, go up a degree as well. So let's go to uh, submenuet. Okay, so we get AB and now coming down. I've got one, here's my deepest retracement, so that's likely my two. I've got, I can squeeze the three, four, five, so I need an impulse here to give me that third, a little ABC, beautiful, into the 50, and then I've got two, so I've got a little, a little bit of a conundrum here, which is why I think this, this needs more time. So allowing for this, not recognizing that that, that, algo, that target has been hit from 786, so we're good here. So let me take that off so we can move beyond that. So then working from my two here to my proposed three low, I come right to the 50. Now I've got this down here as a, as a target for my fifth. Well, here's, the, here's the, what makes that a little tricky is if we're looking from our low here, let me scrunch this here. So from the start of the whole thing, for right here up to my proposed pivot high up here, well, we've come once to the 618 twice to the 618. Now, are we gonna finish with a truncated fifth yet again? It's a lot of truncations. Makes me uneasy with that, yet hitting the golden, or pardon me, hitting the 618, we're not in the zone yet, but hitting the 618 twice, now you gotta respect that. So from swing low to swing high, you would defer to the bullish side, given the fact that this is holding. So. I'll go start buying it here. They'll defend it to the 618. They're defending again. Now that doesn't mean it can't break. We could get down here. Now think about what that would mean. If that's if that if this is one two, let me take that up so it's easier to see. 
So if I go menu, okay. So if that's one, two, three, and I'm putting in a, I'm putting in one heck of a long four, which is takes me back to where I started. The symmetry doesn't feel right. It's too long. The four is too long relative to the two, or the three, or any of it. So it just it needs more clarity now. Trying to get this as a as a one two three. Have I seen something like that before? Yeah, but it's not the norm. So why put money at risk when you're when you're looking at an anomaly? Now you may you may end up getting it just off of the. So take all the Elliott wave off of it. Swing low, swing high. We're sitting at the six one eight. That would be a buy. Now, so you, certainly you could be a buyer here if you like the project and you're bullish. That's a reasonable place to buy it. Although I'd have my, you got to think about what do I want to do with my stop. Well, if I want to buy it here, stop under the 65 on the assumption here that that's going to hold. Well, you're putting your stop awfully close to a, in, to a front run on an algo target. So you might, so what I would suggest if you wanted to be a buyer here, I would reduce the size so I could get my stop under that target under that 23.6 for, for the possibility here that we've got this wrong, that we do in fact have a truncated fifth here, which is very, very reasonable. We could have it. But again, anytime you've got a truncation, just like down here, it's a, you know, it makes me pause and, and, and want to wait for more clarity. Why take the risk on looking for a truncated fifth followed by another truncated fifth? Yeah, yeah, it's possible. And yes, you could be a buyer there with a very modest amount of risk relative to the potential upside. But think about the count though. If this is completed up here, if we if we rethink this and think we've got, so in the fours, so let me just set it up here and I won't do all the subdivision. But if it's one, two, three, four, that symmetry certainly works better. But if we're going to truncate down here, well then what I what am I putting in here? So I, I, is, there's almost no way to count that to give you a nice clean ABC that would work. So you, you'd have to squeeze it out. Well, yeah, yeah again, it's, it's, the, it's the poor symmetry that's the problem. So you might be able to call this A, B, and then we're in some sort of a long C. I don't, I don't love that symmetry either. So it just becomes problematic here until we get more clarity. So why force a trade? There's just no reason. So if you're already long, and you're just trying to ride out the storm here. Well, yeah. Let, let's 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 hope that we still have this push up here, and that this is going to hold. If this breaks, this whole thing may have to be reconsidered. This is e either side is a stretch. It's a stretch here to call this the four. It's a stretch here to call this the five. So why force something? I, I would look to wait. So I'd want to see. So if this, if we get some movement off of this, if we can get this thing to push and we can get a motive wave off of that first retrace, buyable. Then you're looking for that. That's buyable. But down here, too much uncertainty. Why, why force it? Yeah, do I, I? I like the double tap here on the six one eight. That's. You know, that's a sign of strength, but we're not too far away from it. So if you, depending on when you're watching this, that's buyable. You could buy it with a stop under the 65. If the whole thing breaks down, you're not going to want to ride this down much lower. So I'm inclined to put the stop under the 65. I can always rebuy it here if we get a tap on the, on the negative 23 on the algo target. That's, that's a possibility here. So I would wait on this and let, let the market reveal itself a bit more before, before trying to force a trade. Just, just no reason to. So one, certainly one to be watching for any signs of, can, can I get a reaction off of this 618? Can I get a motive, get a little retrace? Yeah, I like it much better there. Then I'd be inclined to, to give it this kind of labeling. So, and we'd go with the C. Truncation, truncation. It's not, it's not supposed to be easy. All right, guys, with that, I'll wrap uh, on TRX. Uh, just a reminder for all of you, uh, thanks for voting on twi Twitter. If you're, if you're not following us on Twitter, we do a lot of, uh, you know, we can try and engage with our followers best that we can. And this is a good example here, letting the Twitter followers pick what gets, an gets analysis. So uh, perhaps you'll find us there. Of course, you can always find, uh, find us online at our website. If you're interested in some of the educational material and the training that we can offer to you, you can find us at tradedevils.com. All right, guys, that's it for now. I'll be back with one more.